Ladies and gentlemen, it's your guy once again, Mr. 945, coming back at y'all with yet another one and doing another versus video for you all. And for this one, we're going with the 45s again, but the 45 super small, I guess, micro compacts um, in the same category. So, so what we have here is the Springfield Armory XDS my two versus smith and wesson shield 45 2.0 very 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 uh two two good hunt two good handguns um for you guys and both are very very similar close in <clears throat> stats text i mean specs or whatever um but just a, a few things let me show clear we are clear And I'll show the trigger pull in just a second, but clear with the mag. All right, so two noticeable differences here. <clears throat> Crimson Trace Red Dot. Crimson Trace Laser. Outside of that, they're, they're roughly about the same. This is a 3.1 inch barrel. I think it's 3.2. Um, and this is a 3.1 inch barrel as well. So, oh, I'm sorry, 3.3. <clears throat> That's what the 3.3 is for. And yeah, so overall, these are roughly same size. The Smith & Wesson is a little bit bigger. So you can see it's a little bit longer in the slide. And in the grip, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell. But in the grip, the Smith & Wesson is a little bit longer, probably about a quarter, no, probably about a half inch longer than the Springfield. In terms of capacity, so Smith, yes, yeah, seven plus one on here. I know it says six, but this is the extended mag. They both come with an extended and a... Um, I won't say a flush fit, but I guess a flush fit mag. I don't run the flush fit. I put the ext pinky extenders on here. This is a six plus one, a true six plus one, um, one here. I believe it's a six plus one. So, so yeah. So let's do trigger pull. So there's your take up. Pretty much at the wall. It's heavy. Oh, I forgot. It's not heavy. It has the safety thing on there. <laughs> Let's try it again. Right there at the wall. Break. Very audible. Yeah. It is still kind of heavy, though. But these are defensive handguns. And, you know, triggers typically on a defensive handgun is not intended or supposed to be very light because you could have a negligible discharge. So... Again, we can check clear. So here's the trigger on the 2.0, pretty much at the wall. Break. I actually like the trigger on here better, but you already know I'm picking the Smith Wesson over <laughs> this the Springfield XDS. Um, again, very, very minor differences in terms of like size, right? That's really what you're getting at. But when I shoot this, this to me, I mean, because one, it has a, a more of a fuller grip or longer grip, I get better control, thus better accuracy. And yeah, okay, whatever. It has a safety also, but this is the safety on the Springfield. Is the I don't mind it. A lot of people don't like those. I mean, it's on a 1911. I really don't care. It doesn't interfere with me at all. I have to run this with the extended mag. With the, I have the pinky extender on there, but it it doesn't help me, really. <laughs> Versus, now this is a gun that I have in my carry rotation. So yes, this mag is loaded, but we will not charge it. I'll just do it just for show. So, with that pinky extension, yes, this gives me a very good, solid grip on there. So we gonna check that. All right, so yes, um, 
the ejection on this is crazy versus on the the shield not as forceful but whew, i love the eject like you can really just kind of kick those mags out there you know i love that with the um xd so uh sight wise you got the blacked out rear on the uh, springfield um, it does co-witness with the Crimson Trace, and you got the single white dot up front, and here you just got the three dot setup, but you also got the Crimson Trace laser on there as well, so very similar concealed carry options for both. Both good shooters. I like this, the way this shoots better. Um, this is a bit more snappy for me. Um, it might just be because of the grip. I believe this is... I believe this one is a little bit lighter. I don't have the specs on weight, but I believe this one is a little bit lighter than the Smith & Wesson. But again, I believe the Smith & Wesson is a better shooter in my opinion. But let me know what y'all think. Put it in the comments. Which one would you pick for concealed carry on the Micro 45 standpoint? Yeah, I know 45 out of the three inch barrel is not ideal. You don't get the I mean, 45 is already a slow moving round, blah, 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 yada, 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 whatever. But to be able to conceal carry a 45 in this small of a package, this is a carry gun for mine. So y'all know what I think. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Which one are you going with? XDS, my two and 45 or the Smil uh, Sh Smith & Wesson Shield 2.0 in 45? Let me know in the comments. Until next time. Holla at your boy, Mr. 945. I'm out. Peace.